this bad. Let's get to the part of this build that everybody wants to see. Nobody cares about the build, nobody cares about the swap, the horsepower, the torque, whatever that is, nobody even knows. Nobody cares about how fast it's gonna go. Everybody wants to know how much the swap costs. From the big manly nitrous big block motor, the Lord's motor, the motor that puts hair on your chest, to this dainty little boy LS, still in fifth grade, still pooping in his diaper, little turbo, little wiener motor. Everybody wants to know which one costs more to build, the big block or the LS. My DMs on Instagram have been getting blown up with message. So now we're gonna figure out which one it is. Now you know, when it comes to big block, you gotta, there's a premium to have that, to tell people how big, how many inches you've got. You gotta pay for that. that. That's a privilege, that's a privileged motor. When they say you gotta pay to play, they weren't joking. Now when we first had the idea of putting a big block in this truck, we thought to ourselves, we're gonna do this the right way. The only way we could see ourselves doing it. Full 10 tenths build, show car restoration, we're going full out. We got ourselves a motorhome block. Not even just a block, we got ourselves a whole motor from a motor home, a home on wheels, a home with a motor, a recreational vehicle that was also in a fire. But the fire only made it stronger, it was forged in fire like the book. And because it was a fully forged cast iron block, we had to pay a premium for that. They don't just hand those things out. That was a $15,000 motor. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, what the heck is he talking about? You can't find a fully forged cast iron block for less than 20 G's. <laughs> we did it. And then immediately after that, we stripped everything out of that block. We weren't using none of it because we were doing this the right way, brother. Pistons out of here. Rods out of here. Crank, we'll reuse that. It had a pretty decent crank. The peanut board heads, oh yeah. I needed them. And then we sent that block to the machine shop. I'm getting worked up right now just thinking about it. My goodness, that freedom. <sighs> I need some Oreos. But we sent the block to the machine shop to get all refreshed up. That was another $5,000! And then it needed pistons! So we put in fully forged 44cc domed pistons. Try seeing that 10 times fast. Those were $13,000. Without the rings! The rings were $13. I couldn't believe that. That seemed like a bargain. They were used out of a towel. And then for the rod! <laughs> and then for the rod! Damn it. And then for the rods, we went to Craftsman. <laughs> Had them custom make some. Those were $8,000. We used 12 sets of bearings from a Mazda Miata. Oh yeah, Miata. And that wasn't it for the big block. No, no. For the heads, the only thing that could handle the raw torque that we were willing to put down was some cast iron factory heads. Oval port! None of that rectangle port baloney. So we sent them to the machine shop too, brother. And that was a few hundred bucks. Pretty good deal. I'm talking valve springs. I'm talking seals. I'm talking valves. Oh yeah. I'm talking, that's it. And then the headers were a custom set of eBay shorties. Those were 4,300 bucks. And then for the camshaft, I called Rust-Oleum. And they hooked us up with a custom cam for exactly what we were doing. That was $3,000. And then for the intake and the carburetor, we had to get something special. Something different. What could be better than a carburetor? It's literally made from God's tears. So we put two on it. We put a wind, a wind, a wind, a wind tunnel ram on it with two carburetors. That was $47,000. Luxury price. And that cost $47,000. You gotta pay to play. And then finally for the ignition system, the only thing that could hold up was a used HEI distributor. But we couldn't find one good enough, so we put an MSD Probolit on it. And it worked pretty dang good. And then we were ready. We were willing. And we were most certainly able. So we took the engine to the dynamometer and we ran it all the way to 6,000 RPM, brother. And it made 134 horsepower. 
in 1900 torque. Not bad for an engine that cost $147,000. But the best we could get out of the old truck was 12s or 13s. I don't freaking remember. <laughs> I'm starting to tear my throat up, brother. I don't know how much longer I can do this bit. So when old Magic Mike Captain Inferno decided to kick the rods out the block, out the oil pan, and oil down the entire lane at mid-Michigan, we knew what we had to do, brother. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We went LS. Now there's a lot of speculation about how much a turbo LS swap costs in one of these. And I'm here to tell you the facts. This motor didn't cost us a dime. I jerked two hobos off behind the Wendy's and they gave it to me. This turbo kit I found in a pawn shop for $14. He wanted 20, I offered him 10. We started haggling and we went back and forth. I challenged him to an arm wrestle. He wouldn't do it. He said, nah, nah, can't do it. He didn't have any arms. So I offered him 14 and he took it. This turbo. I found in a dumpster. Had to fight Macaulay Culkin for it. I couldn't believe he was there. The kid's scrappy, but I won. Hit him with a fucking soldering iron. The Holly system. I traded two Little Caesars pizzas for it. Oh, yeah. And then in between the last video and this video, I took it to the dyno. There's no footage of it, no paperwork. I don't know what happened. It's all gone. Uh, you'll just have to take my word for it, bro. But I put it on the dyno. It made 2,300 horsepower on four pounds of boost. 17 million torques. The cactus couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, so I took my glasses off. And then I put them back on. The true power of the LS is limitless. <laughs> I'm really screwing my throat up on this. No, but honestly, uh, I think Pop said he had like five, 6,000 into that big block. We did honestly try to do it as right as we could. We took it to machine shops for everything. Uh, we took it to the dyno, had the dyno guy go through, check everything. He found a couple issues, fixed it. Um, it just wasn't happy. Like I said, he had five, 6,000 in it. I I keep a spreadsheet on pretty much all of my builds, so I know how much this cost. And if we had bought everything brand new, then uh, excluding the torque converter, this is about a $5,500 swap so far. What we have into it is about $2,500, $2,600. So, hope that helps. Have fun. See you guys later.